Morning. Nothing really happens before my coffee. I have my my coffee in my favorite room of the house. Mm, that's good. I like this room because it's bright and the view is amazing. Yeah, so next I go for a bit of a walk through the neighborhood. It's a beautiful area I live in. I always feel a bit better after doing a bit of exercise in the morning, kind of wakes me up and it's just nice to get out. Here we are. Okay, so before I think about the work that I have on today, I am just going to take five minutes for a short meditation, a bit of a gratitude meditation, and also to, uh, you know, to bring the right energy into my day. <sighs> Already feel a lot better. It's going to be a great day. Got my coffee. Ah, oh, good. Now I can think about my day. Got my favorite cup, or one of my favorite cups, Starry Night. It's got to do these eggs on this instrument. That's, this is a beginner instrument that I'm setting up. Everyone has to start somewhere. It's my $600 violin. Now I really wish everyone could spend about two thousand dollars to start on an instrument so they get that really nice start but of course you know that's not being realistic uh what's important that people actually start their musical journey so i found a beginner's instrument that just has a really nice tone and uh is well made and then with a good setup it's they end up being amazing I don't really make a profit on these instruments. I basically get paid for my work. So, uh, but, uh, so I do a lot of work on these instruments. I literally do about $450 worth of work on these instruments. Um, so I don't really even get paid for that when I, uh, when I sell these instrument, but, but I, instruments, but I am passionate about people starting right so this is this is um the beginner instrument i have it's my vivace violin right, i'm going to put that inside because that's for later i have a bunch of other things to do today also it's getting really warm so it might be winter here right now and it might be seven degrees celsius in the morning but now it's before 10 o'clock in the morning and we're already at um, 18 degrees and it's a beautiful clear day. So this, this is what our winters are like up here in Queensland in Australia. So that's one of the things I really love. When I first came to Australia from Germany, uh, you know, we, we had a terrible summer in Germany and I got here in August and uh, you know, it was actually still winter, but it, <laughs> any of the days were better than, uh, than the summer days we'd had in Germany, so. <laughs> so I have a violin to open. Spared you all the horrible noises, but I just split the instrument apart. Uh, it was quite tedious. I mean, it's a very old violin, so, yeah. Wow, so it's had a lot of uh, a lot of crack repairs, but uh, cracks aren't exactly weren't repaired right. You can see like here and here and here the cracks don't actually match up. So there's a so one bit is higher, one side of the crack is higher than the other side. So I'll have to open those cracks and uh, line them up properly.
Okay, so I uh, I just polished this little, like this violin had a big scratch up here, just up in here. So it had that little scratch up here, which I just um, retouched and just finished polishing. So those clients are coming to pick that up. Uh, I think they'll be super happy. I'm happy with it. So, And I tend to be more fussy than uh, most of my clients. So I'm going to do a couple of phone calls. I might just do those now. Hi, Amanda. It's Olivia from Olive Road Violin Studio. Um, just, uh, yeah, just checking about the, um, the violin. Uh, I've, yeah, just finished, um, finished the work on Tarnish. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, yeah, it took a call, so we can uh, pick up time. Right, thank you. All right, bye. Time for a short skateboard break. It's actually a fun way to relax. Alright, so it's mid-morning. I have to do a bow rehair that I'm uh, just finishing. <clears throat> so I've done the... Uh, Done the wedge for the frog here. I'm going to do the wedge for the other side. For the tip. Just got to find a nice piece of timber to do that. And then later, so I've got a client coming in to pick up a bowery here later as well. I've actually got a few clients coming in today. Good <laughs> 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 Let's have, a, let's have a quick look. So um, we were talking about the um, we were talking about playing the fingerboard. Is that right? Or um, general service yeah, and yeah. Um, tail piece. That. Yeah, that's the right. yeah. Single point, oh, the, yeah, the the saddle. Yeah. And um, hello. Oh, hey, how are you going? Hey, <laughs> coming in to pick up my bow. Cool. All yeah. right, I'll nice. grab it for you. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. All done. Had a, had a bit of, I stretched it quite a bit, so that'll be good for, for uh, humid climates. Uh -huh. Nice. Look at that, it's so clean. <laughs> now I can practice. Yeah. <laughs> 40 hours, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. See you. Yeah, see you, Brad. Bye. Come on in. How are you going? Alrighty, back to work. Okay, so quite often I do have clients uh, during the morning. The great thing is I work by appointment, so usually people come at the right time, and so we can, I know when to expect people. And uh, it also means I really, you know, I like, I actually like taking the time to work with um, people when they come in. So, uh, so by making an appointment, I, ha I make sure that I have time, time for people. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I am going to work out... Uh, so I, um, I recently put a bridge on, a, on an instrument. I just have to adjust the sound pose, make sure that, uh, that I'm really happy with the sound. <laughs> strings on this instrument because they sound good and they don't cost too much. So I shortened the sound post a bit on that violin before uh, because it was uh, it was too long. It was sitting really it was sitting in the instrument really tightly. <laughs> I think it just is a very, uh, like a very strong sounding, a bit raw instrument, raw sound. It doesn't quite have the sweetness, but it's going to work really well for him. He's, uh, I think he plays a bit of folk fiddle and things like that, and I, I think it could do the trick. 
Now while I'm finding the fingerboard here, I'm actually also answering emails with Coralie. How lucky is that? So uh, one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm just looking at checking over all the instruments, or a lot of the instruments at the conservatorium, or some of the older instruments. Uh, so yeah, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch. Little thing. <laughs> So yeah, that's quite a few instruments to check over. One of my favorite things to go bike riding. The great thing is we've actually got some really good bike lanes here in Brisbane. The other thing I love is the fact that we have markets here. Hey, this is this is Amy, we're meeting for lunch. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, it's so spicy. It's really spicy. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna head for coffee now. Actually, a bit fussy. I like my specialty coffee. So for some reason, the specialty coffee here is always in some kind of back alley or something like that. Coffee time. All right, coffee's here. <laughs> Now to bike riding home, I always try and choose the scenic route. The good thing about riding along the river is that uh, it's really flat and it's also really beautiful. Okay, so it's around two o'clock and it's time to go back to work. Now I'd also like to say that uh, on a typical day I get to do some new violin making working on my violin at the moment and uh, but generally I have to say I've been extremely busy and I haven't had the time to work on my instrument as much as I would like to I've nearly got the outside of my instrument finished so I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to uh, to working on the insides of the plates and uh, I tap tune I actually tap tune all my plates so uh, tap tuning the plates means that uh, I tune the top to the back that means that the instrument will respond a lot better like you'll, you'll end up with a much clearer tone I'm actually really looking forward to finish this, finishing this beautiful violin and uh, and hearing the first sounds. I'm super excited about that actually. The tool I'm using here is called a scraper. Now scraping is a little bit of a, uh, it's actually not really scraping, so it's a cutting tool, so it's got to be quite sharp. Uh, this scraper isn't as sharp as I'd like it to be, so I'm probably going to sharpen it uh, before I go much further here. And now I did some gluing on this violin uh, earlier. Um, the bigger restoration job. It's uh, it's this violin's from about the 1850s, I think, 1850s, 1860s. It's an old German violin. So here I basically, uh, every single one of these cracks needs cleaning and it's a little bit late in the day for me to clean these cracks. So first thing tomorrow morning I'm going to soak uh, one of the cracks and then clean it out. It, the process takes about um, an hour for each crack uh, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it ready to glue. So there's one crack on the side here that I'll glue today. It's a bit of a tricky one. So I'm gonna run glue through here. This uh, crack is running the opposite way to the way they normally do.
Okay, that's glued. I'm happy with that. Okay, that's me done for the day. Uh, I'm just going to lock up now. Hey everyone, I'm home. Anyway, that's mostly my day. Um, there's obviously a lot more I do, but uh, this is just one day. If you like this video, click the like button. Remember to subscribe so you find out when I put up a new video. And also click the little bell, that way you get notified. Okay, see ya!